Hi, as promised and as requested, I'm doing the video of the ASOS wedding dresses. So if you can see behind me, there's actually a lot more than I thought. Like they've packaged them a lot bigger than I thought. Um, so hopefully it's gonna be the sign of good things to come. On that note, it's obviously not gonna be easy to get these dresses on myself. Um, obviously zips, all that issue. I've tried it before, doesn't work. Um, so I've brought my harshest critic with me. You may notice I'm not in my house, I am at somebody else's house. That harshest critic went with me on my wedding dress shopping. Um, I luckily found my dress at the first shop that I went to. Um, I tried on about four or five before that. Trust me, those four or five I found before that, this person, <laughs> when the curtains opened many a time went oh no no <laughs> so you are going to get the brutal reviews and brutal opinions on these dresses uh, from myself and my harsh harshest critic which is my mother <laughs> please remember when you go wedding dress shopping um your underwear matters so don't do what i've done today which is wearing very bright colored and um, patterned pants um, I've had to have a mad dash back to my house to find like the ugliest fleshy coloured bra and pants that I own. So, and if they're not the best quality and they're a little bit see-through, you're gonna see unicorn pants. Are we all ready to see the harshest critic? The monster that slagged <laughs> off a load of the wedding dresses. It's my mother! <laughs> Let's go! So I thought I'd ordered six dresses and then when it arrived and it was these four boxes in a bag I figured I'd just ordered five um, but I haven't, there's actually two in the first bag so I've got one of the normal big ASOS bags um, and in here I have a dress and one of the wild cards. Um, this first one I've ordered a 12 in. So it's not packaged great, it's just shoved into a plastic bag but this is the first dress. So this one is the City Goddess Bridal Fishtail Maxi Dress. Um, it is £98. I got it in the sale, which is £58. This is dress number one, which I was actually really excited about. Mm. First impressions, it looks okay. There's not any sequins kind of... Oh, <laughs> you can't. Just talk to my shoulders. Um, a bit of sparkle, but not overly sparkly. I'll get that one on before. I give you a full judgment. This next one in the back, again, not packaged great, I wouldn't say, for the price of it. This is meant to be 120 pounds. Got it in the sale, still 96 quid, um, but kind of smushed up into a plastic bag, which when the other dresses are like this and the other bridal is like, mm, makes you think it's not, not ideal. If you were buying this for your wedding, you're gonna have to do a bit of work steaming it to get it out. So this is one of my wild cards and one of the kind of alternative ones that I really, really wanted to try. Um, it's actually a jumpsuit. <laughs> and the only one I could get was tall. And if you've met me in the flesh, I am not tall. And instantly there's a big black mark on it. So if that was for your wedding, you'd be pretty fucked off to say the least. Not after a good start. I was really looking forward to this one because I thought it was going to be something a bit edgy, alternative. If you're not particularly girly and you didn't want to wear a dress, this could have been a great alternative. Let's see how it looks on again. Next up, it's going to be a bit of roulette. I don't really know what's in these boxes, so... First up, they come in a nice big box, which would be great if your DPD man didn't throw them over an eight-foot fence before you had it. Not saying that's what he did, but I'm also not saying it's what he didn't do. ASOS Bride Box. This one is ASOS Edition Structured Bandeau Wedding Dress in a size 10. Ooh! Another wild card. So the two wild cards I've got are one after t'other. Ah. Dress bag. Hanger. Dress inside, which I feel has fallen straight off the hanger into the bottom of the bag. Yep. <laughs> It's a short little number, Lexington. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go on the dress, Lexington, I swear to God. <laughs> First impressions, looks like nice fabric, feels nice and thick. It's got a bit of a shine to it. It's got like boning in the sides, so I think it's gonna stay up. That one's looking good. Reserve judgment, and reserve judgment until I've got it on again. Next. Somebody told me I babbled on my videos and that I didn't get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> this one is 
this one is the again an ASOS edition off shoulder maxi bedding dress with drape back oh okay this is one that I would never pick for myself but it looks really interesting it looks kind of royal um, and it's 120 pounds it's a very classy well it's kind of classy in the front party in the back it feels really thin and light a lot lighter than it looked on the photos it looks like it's got a bit of a train a bit creased again but we'll see what it looks like on penultimate dress oh okay we've got one dress that i really really like the look of and one that um let's just say i wouldn't order it for myself hi yes. hi <laughs> you can do this all now because the dresses are safely away from you be free away with you <laughs> oh okay then okay then you haven't seen me for all of 30 seconds oh okay so the <laughs> <laughs> i don't mean to be cruel but i just wouldn't order it myself and it was in the sale and i think heavily discounted so i think maybe no one else has ordered it for themselves oh wow <laughs> oh wow i wish you could see my mom's face already <laughs> Um, this is gonna be oh no <laughs> <laughs> so this is the dramatic sleeve it doesn't look that dramatic as of yet um, I think it's best if I just try that one on and show you last but not least this is the ASOS edition lace long sleeve crop top maxi wedding dress a lot of words in there <laughs> it's 120 pounds um, but it just looks really cute like on the photos it almost looks like a two piece so <laughs> see how we go. <laughs> oh my good god. <laughs> this one actually looks so nice. Um, it looks like a two piece because it's got kind of this like illusiony little bit of net. But yeah, that's nice. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Very excited for this one. Cool. So I've got all the dresses out. That was my initial first impressions. There looks like there's going to be some absolute belters and some absolute. <laughs> Belters. Next time you see me, I will be all gowned in whichever one of these I pick first. So, let's just look. <laughs> Wedding dresses for dogs. <laughs> what do we think? Just number one. <laughs> I can't take big strides in it because it's very fishtail. Um, but yeah, it's got some swish. It's a 12. The rest of them are 10s. So now I'm a little bit terrified because... I don't know if you can tell. Mother, was this easy to get on? Very easy. No, I was <laughs> packed into it. She's lying. It's tight everywhere on me, but like I say, I'm carrying some holiday weight. It gives you a bit of tushy. <laughs> the piping's like nicely finished off on the edges. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> the only thing I've just realised after wearing it a bit and moving a bit, it's scratchy as heck. It will underarms. be with the sequins. Um, overall, what do you think, Mum? Would you? I think. 8 out of 10 for that one. Really like it. Yeah. Oh, which, okay, that's perfect for my mum. She really <laughs> likes it, so it's an 8 out of 10. Dress number 2. Outfit number 2 also. <laughs> oh my god. She's literally laughing before I've even got out properly. This is the jumpsuit that I thought would be a little bit different for people who didn't like a dress. It certainly is. <laughs> I look like I'm going to a toga party, don't I? I literally look like... You look like you've got one of my sheets draped around you. This one is actually a size 10. The last dress was a 12, and this is humongous. Like, it's definitely too big for me. Um, I kind of like the whole one shoulder thing. I think that looks kind of cool, something I've never tried before. I love the fact that it's trousers. Bear in mind, this is a long, like a tall length. So these are longer than they, they would be. I'm, like I said, I'm five foot five, I'm wearing standard kind of high wedding shoes. This should be £120. Um, I still paid 96 for it in the sale. Um, you get a lot for your money, there's a lot going on, a lot of fabric. Personally it's not for me, I think you need to be really careful with the fit on this one. It is huge. I mean don't get me wrong, I'm not the biggest busted girl in the world, but this is a 10. It's huge on top, it's, it's better on the bottom because I'm bigger on the bottom half, but it's still a little bit weird fitting. The fabric, gotta say, is actually quite thick, quite nice. I'm struggling to get past how creased it is because it came in that little screwed up bag and I'm definitely struggling to get past the massive black mark on it. What do you think out of 10? In general, I, I think probably seven. I think that's quite kind. I'd probably give this a solid six out of 10. Outfit number three, and I don't mean to be biased, but I think I love it already. Yeah, I 
that's lovely. This is so cute! So this is uh, again a size 10, which I was a bit worried because it was really fitted in the body, um, so the top. So obviously I knew I would be okay on the bottom half, but I was a bit worried on the top half for it. So it's a size 10, I'd say it fits quite well. So it's an absolutely gorgeous little number. It's the most expensive of all the dresses I've bought. Um, this one is £150. Right, it's £67.50 today <gasps> in the sale. Um, it's got like boning in the sides. It had even got like the almost like a bra back in it. So underneath here, it's got like a bra back so it stays up so you feel actually secure in it. So that kind of gets around your waist. So I feel like I can move in it. It's not going anywhere. Um, I feel like it's not gonna like fall down. It's got like rubber. <sighs> I can't talk. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. <laughs> so it's got like a rubberized top. It's got a little bra back to keep it up nice and secure. It's got some boning down the sides. It's got loads of swooshy fabric, a bit of a shimmer to it. This little cut out bit, which currently post Christmas is probably squeezing all the wrong bits out of all the wrong places, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love this one. Out it 10. is. Oh, this is definitely a nine out of 10. Yeah, it is lovely. Yeah, I'd say for a tea length dress, this is like a 10 out of 10. But I know that some people would feel a bit exposed with it being strapless or not being floor length, but, and maybe this little bit might not be for everyone. But I love it. Can you imagine walking around the streets of New York and through Central Park in this? I think this will be so perfect for a New York wedding. Are you ready for the um, one with the dramatic sleeve? Because it's, it's purely just the sleeves that are the problem. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, oh, oh, did I tell you about the back? The, there isn't one. So this is the um, ASOS. ASOS edition, a satin fishtail wedding dress with dramatic sleeve. It's in the colour Oyster. It's meant to be £120. It's currently £38 and I can't for the life of me see why. Um, the train is really cute, so it's nice to have that. The fabric is obviously nice and shimmery. Got a like, kind, of, kind of balloony. <laughs> Bingo wing, maybe? Is that what this is? Like, <laughs> definitely. It's a bingo wing. It's not all bad. I wouldn't say it's all bad. Um, again, could be gorgeous for the right person. It's um, different. Different. Well said, mother. <laughs> so, out of 10, what would you give this little number? I'm, I'm sorry to say, I'd, a two. Oh! <laughs> I'd, yeah, I'd agree. Maybe a two slash three slash two. <laughs> Dress number five. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> um, I sort of love it. Oh, oh, put a oh, shoulder. Oh. <laughs> okay, that might be a problem. Um, so this is this dress. Um, it was £120. So it's got a little bit of a train. It's got this like lovely kind of boat neck. Very Megan inspired, I think. Yeah, that looks gorgeous at the back. Oh, gorgeous. It does. That's yeah, very I like nice. This one. I do. Yeah. I, I, it, it's the surprise. The dog's licking himself. Oh, we won't get that then. <laughs> Imagine this one with like a sparkly little bell. That would be really cute, I think. Out of 10? Oh, I'm going, I'm going nine again. Ooh! I think I'd say an eight out of 10 overall, but actually for the price of nine out of 10, mm. because you can't complain at that. You get a good belt, give it a good steam, yeah. it's gonna look a million dollars, it isn't it? So. Definitely. Fabulous. <laughs> Final dress is this one. This one's the ASOS edition lace long sleeve crop top maxi wedding dress. It's 120 pounds. It's not in the sale as of yet. Um, size 10 again, so I think it, it's quite true to size, it fits quite nicely. Um, it's not actually, it says cropped up on the listing, it's not, it's, it is all in one. Um, it's just got like a little illusion bit of lace here. Um, we struggle to do it up a little bit because the zip has to go through like a thick bit of fabric and then a thin bit of fabric. So it was a bit trickier to get into. Um, lengthwise, it's, I mean, this would be really hard to shorten. Um, if it's got a, like a hem like this, like a scalloped hem, or anything other than a straight hem, it's really difficult um, for a seamstress to take them up because they'd have to probably cut the dress and then keep that hem and then reattach it 
so that it's the right length. So this would be really hard to alter if you wanted to. But like I say, for me, I'm not the tallest girl in the world, I'm not the shortest girl in the world, I'm probably about average. Um, so it's probably about the right length. I could, I could get away with that. I feel like I could trip over it quite easily if I wasn't paying attention, but I do feel like I can move quite freely in it. The sleeves are actually really nice. I've struggled with long sleeve dresses before um, where they've been too tight or too loose, but these actually fit really nice straight away. Um, so like I say, it's got this kind of sheer part in the middle to make it look like the illusion of a two piece. The fabric and finish on it is really nice. Um, I think all the edging and things on the sleeves are really, really pretty and really nicely done. Um, so actually I think the quality of this one is gorgeous. True to size, really good quality. Um, I don't think it flatters me the best, but that's not to say that it's not a good dress. I would probably say that this is, for me, an eight out of 10, well, seven, eight out of 10, um, but for quality, I'd say it's easily a nine out of 10. You wouldn't scoff at this in a dress shop if it was four, five, six times the price. I think, hats off to you, ASOS, for this one. I think it's a quality dress um, for a very affordable price. Whew, trying on dresses is hard work. <laughs> in summary, I'd actually say that went really well. Um, I'd say out of the six dresses, there's probably only one that I thought was kind of bad quality, bad style, um, and I can't really see anyone particularly liking it. Uh, no prizes for guessing which one that was. Here he is. He's actually been golden. He hasn't jumped on dresses or lay on them or anything. He's, he's he stayed out of the way, which is pretty decent. Um, so yeah, overall, Price, quality, fit, can't fault them at all. I think that you're getting a lot of dress for your money with a lot of those. Um, much better than I thought. Thanks for watching. Um, I know I've been talking about doing maybe a video like this for a while and you guys requested that I did it for ASOS. If you want to see me do any other retailers or any other online shops, then let me know. Um, it's perfect for me. I love trying on dresses, <laughs> any excuse. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like down below and of course subscribe so you can see what other ridiculous things I get up to <laughs> in the name of wedding planning. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it useful. Bye!